couple years ago, I was working on my truck with my son and it was hot as fuck out. I remember this day, it was so hot. And what turned out to supposed to be a very quick break job turned into a long nightmare. I'm sure some of you guys who fix your own cars or who like to tinker with cars understand sometimes what you think might take an hour or so takes five hours because you don't have all the equipment that you would like to have that a garage has, but you do what you can. So we start taking apart one side of the truck and this is the front brakes. We started taking it apart and it just seemed that nothing was going right from the first fucking moment. The lug nuts were on so damn tight and I remember the last time I actually had somebody else do the brakes uh, because I was going out of town and my daughter needed it and so I didn't want her to be um, have bad brakes. So the lug nuts were on so goddamn tight so I'm already starting to bitch. I'm like, okay, this guy used a fucking air compressor on these. I'm just torquing away and I finally got them free and I got the tire off. What should have taken 10 minutes to take the tire off probably was already a 45 minute job. I'm just grabbing stuff. I'm just trying to get bigger tools to try to get these lugs off and I'm already kind of bitching. It's already hot and I haven't even started yet. So I start break taking apart the calipers, removing them, kind of hanging those. You guys know the drill if you fix cars and starting to take apart the brakes. And I get it all apart and I didn't have all the, all the correct tools. I realized that this particular brake needed a special um, tool to push in the calipers. I didn't have it. So I had to go back all the way down to AutoZone to borrow their tool. And I'm already hot, I'm bitching, I'm fucking moaning. I, I just want this done already. My son's doing everything he can. He's right there. And it's a learning experience for him as well because he never dealt with this type of truck before. So it's a learning experience for him. We finally get that side down and we have the same problem on the other side. The lug nuts, one of them actually stripped. And if you ever had to deal with a stripped lug nut and you have no way to get it off, it's a pain in the ass. That took by itself about an hour to get that lug off. By the time I got the tire off, we're already three hours, maybe a little bit more, three and a half hours into what probably should have been an hour and a half tops job. So here we are. I'm just at my, I'm normally not an emotional guy. I normally don't fly off the handle. I normally don't get completely pissed, but I've already had it and I'm not done. And now, because I'm even more pissed, I'm more frustrated, I'm losing tools. I just had the fucking wrench in my hand. I don't know where I put it. The bolt that I just put down that I thought I put where I, where I needed it to be, it's not there. I don't know where it is. I'm creating combination of swear words probably have never heard before in man. Hopefully my son recorded it so that he can reuse them down the road, but I'm just, I'm at my wits, I'm pissed. And my son can see it and he said, Dad, you're going on a timeout. Go upstairs, go relax, go get something to drink, go on a timeout. And I thought it was funny, but then I was like, fuck, I need to put myself on a timeout. All of this bitching, all of this emotion that's built up in me, all this pissivity that's built up in me, I can't focus. What is perceived a minor issue, I'm blowing it all out of proportion. So I go in the house where the AC, my shirt sweat, and I take that off, and I'm like, okay, whew. The AC is on, I'm starting to come down a little bit. I grab some tea, I get something to eat, and I'm just relaxing for a little bit. And I soon I find that I'm sitting in the couch and I'm starting to relax. I'm starting to watch a little bit of TV. It's on, but I'm just thinking, okay, I don't want my son to see me as an emotional little bitch over, over breaks. I mean, yes, breaks are a pain in the ass sometimes. I guess this is probably why you 
hire professionals to do it. They have the tools, they have the lift, they know how the, they have the know-how and you pay them for your problems. So lesson learned on that one. But as I was on my timeout, I realized that why do we put kids on timeout? You know, when kids are frustrated, when kids are mad, when kids are flying off the handle, the parents say, hey, you need to go on a timeout. We're actually trying to break their thought process that they're having because they're going in a loop. They're going on a temper tantrum. They're mad because they can't have this. They're mad because they can't have this. They want to go here. You're not going to let them go here. So they're having this temper tantrum and you're trying to do a break in their thought process. So you put them on a timeout. Well, I did the same thing. My son put me on the timeout, but I went on a timeout because I was doing the same thing. I was having a temper tantrum. I was looping on. I can't find this fucking part. I can't find this tool. Why is this taking so long? Why is it got to be so goddamn hot out here? Why does this jack have to be right where it is? Now I can't move the jack because the tire's off. I was just going through a temper tantrum. So as I was on the couch, as I was just finally relaxing, watching a little bit of TV, contemplating all this, I fell asleep. It wasn't a long nap, but a probably a good half hour, 40 minutes. And I kind of woke up thinking, oh, I got to get this truck fixed. Like, I, I can't have it up in the driveway. What if there's an emergency? I need my truck. So I kind of woke up, not in a panic, but like, okay. Grabbed my son. I said, hey, let's try this again. Probably from the time I took off the brakes this time to putting the new brakes on, to putting the tire back on, to taking it off the jack, to actually test driving it to make sure everything was working great, was probably 35, 40 minutes. Everything just started to happen the way it was supposed to happen, the way it should have happened in the first time. And if I wasn't such an emotional little bitch during the time and just relax, I probably would have muddled through a little bit better. Sometimes men, we need to put ourselves in a timeout. Sometimes we do so much it could be breaks, it could be yard work, it could be housework, be cleaning the gutters, it could be taking the kids to Little League and then taking them out for ice cream and then doing this and doing that. We do so much that towards the end of the day or maybe we're frustrated because we have done so much, maybe during that day things didn't go well and you're just bitching and you're thinking about that and you're like, you know what, I should have handled this better. Put yourself on a timeout. We do it for kids and we do it for their betterment. Put yourself on a timeout for your own betterment. Go for a walk, get away from the situation. Maybe just go to the gym if that's something you like to do. Maybe take that frustration, that perspective, put it into the weights. I don't know how you calm yourself down, but we've all been that way. We've all been at points in our lives where we're just so because something isn't going right. Put yourself on a timeout, go for a walk, go for a hike, get away from whatever the situation is that's causing these emotions to come up. It's causing you to be pissed. It could even just be an argument with your wife and it's a heated conversation. The best thing you can do is just walk away, let her relax, you relax, go your separate ways, and then when you come back together, even those types of arguments tend to go better when that emotion of anger, when that emotion of resentment come up. We tend to say things and do things we don't mean. We're just responding from that anger. We're just responding from that emotion. That was the first time my son just looked at me, he clapped, he goes, you're on a timeout. You need to relax. And you know, here's my son at that time. He's 20. So I'm, I'm going to guess he was like 16 or 17 at that time. And you know, the way he said it, he was like the parent at that point because I was acting like a little child. I was acting like an emotional little bitch. And I'm not saying that as a bad way. I was just, I was very emotional when the situation didn't need to have that emotion, that much emotion. Yes, it was a pain in the ass. So put yourself on a timeout. And, and I've done this and you never want to have your kids see you acting like that. I was kind of embarrassed um, when that happened 
especially the swearing. I was a little bit embarrassed, but at this point now, it, you know, it's water on the bridge. It happened. So I invite you to try to just put yourself on a timeout. I know it's funny, um, but it definitely worked for me. And if it works for me, then it's going to obviously work for you. And so when you can get back to this situation or this project, it will go much easier, much smoother for you. And as a side note, maybe do your research prior to taking on the project, just to make sure you have all the tools, just make sure you aren't missing anything, that there's an angle that you didn't see. I've learned that. I've started doing that when I started going back and tinkering on with my cars. That's all I got for this one today. My name is Jared Skewmaker. This is the Magnetic Men's Club. If you found this video helpful, a little funny, gave you some perspective, please hit the like button. Leave a comment. I'd love to hear a story that you have where you had to put yourself on timeout because the situation was just such that you're losing your mind like I was. I'd love to hear your story and hit the bell icon so you know when new videos are being dropped. With that, have an amazing day. We'll talk soon, guys. Thank you. Bye.